Hi again. In this part two, I'm gonna take the talk about the actual notes I'm playing. I was a bit ranting before about sixteenths and eighth notes and chord notes and God knows. So this is the line I'll play first, and I'll stick to it. Okay. One, two, three, four. With some variations, of course, but the main main line is still muting here. If I wasn't muting, I would do like this. I like the sound of the mute note. It's very funky. It's very funky indeed. So it's. Remember before I talked about up and down all the time, but this is down, down, up, and I'm putting my finger like this on the A, the D on the A string, and the C on the G string. So we're actually playing a double stuff seventh now. So see the muted ghosted note. I'm very slow playing. How am, am I muting? It's not in this hand actually, but it's the finger here, so it's just touching the string. So when I show this finger here, lift, press down, and there I'm lifting. Beware that you did that. You, uh, that you doesn't get the uh, the harmonic with, but it's very easy to just lift the finger and all, uh, uh, accidentally playing the harmonic. So if you're gonna mute it, so put your finger behind the fret because the, the harmonic is always on the fret itself in most cases. So this is the first part. You can hear I play some other muted notes, and this still the muting takes place here. Very slowly. This part. This should be the, the sound of a note. It would sound like if I only did the downstrokes. Actually, it's all downstrokes because it's a it's a downbeat. But uh, I could. Actually, I'm just on the downbeat. I'm pressing down notes also here, and I'm lifting this finger for the upbeat. This is not the muting from uh, this hand, because this hand is just muting the whole shebang. This is the muting of the actual individual notes takes place in this hand, the left hand. So I, I was playing here where I didn't mute. You can hear the muting still, but because, because I'm just lifting this finger. Okay, closer, you can see. the first two, boom, 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 the A to the C, I'm just playing a downstroke, I don't know no upbeat, but I could do it. Yeah. 
this is in fact it is like the a pick up of the bass line itself because it's going it's playing over the, the D7 chord and this line is like thing you take from the, the third to the fifth a chromatic from the third it does this dominant thing I don't, I don't want to get into all the theoretical stuff right now. It's just about the pick playing because I'm just saying this kind of line, uh, this kind of, uh, of uh, tends to uh, end a bass line. You heard it a thousand times in all soul music as always is. Also in, in rock, Hey Joe with uh, Jimi Hendrix, and all you we can we can we can come into that all later. This is all about my funk pig play. I know I go in different directions all the time, but please bear with me. So the the main ingredient. It's a up down up down up down, and as a general rule, when you play, when you play just the eight notes in this tempo, it's down for the sixteenths, and when you want to move mute your notes, you lift your finger slightly off the fretboard, like this. Uh, what's it, Michael Jackson? Yeah. It's a, in fact the rhythm guitar part, one of the rhythm guitar parts. You see, I'm when I'm playing, uh, this is a good thing for bass, uh, is I'm playing actually the, the root note the, and the seventh, flat seventh simultaneously. I picked that up from a Prince uh, rhythm guitar player part. Have you this uh, all the the root note in the top? You can do licks with the seventh and, and the sixth and the fifth. So you can make some great funk picking lines. For The, the good old seventh and the third, we all use that all the time. If, for instance, if I'm playing an E, okay, enough for now. This was just a big about my pick playing, and you got some double stops and some chords and some. What do I know? I'll be back. And a happy new year.